So there's a classic question that filmmakers, YouTubers, video content creators ask. What frame rate should I be shooting in? And in this video, we wanna look specifically at 24 frames per second versus 60 frames per second. In this video, I wanna talk about both frame rates and discuss their pros and cons so that when you're going out to shoot your videos, you can make the right decision for you. So let's start with 24 frames per second. 24 FPS, it's a cinematic look. 24 frames per second is your classic cinematic frame rate. Well, why is that? Hollywood films have been shot in 24 frames per second since way, way back. Now, 24 frames per second has a certain look to it. It has a certain motion blur to it. It has a certain feel. And that's what these Hollywood movies have been using for the longest time. So we as viewers are used to that. And thus, if you wanna achieve that cinematic Hollywood look, 24 frames per second is a really great option. Now, something to think about when we're shooting in different frame rates, we always wanna have our shutter speed double that of our frame rate. So when we're shooting at 24 frames per second, we wanna aim at one over 48 for a shutter. This will depend on your camera. It might be one over 50 or even one over 60, depending what camera you're using, but you wanna keep it to double your frame rate. There's another benefit of that when we're shooting 24 versus 60, and that's that we can shoot in lower light. 24 frames per second, again, means we only need a shutter of one over 48, whereas when we're shooting 60 frames per second, we wanna aim for a one over 120 shutter. That's gonna to be tougher when we're in low light. So 24 frames per second, we've got a cinematic look, and we've also got the ability to shoot in slightly lower light. Now, when do I choose to shoot in 24 frames per second? Well, I shoot in 24 frames just about any time that I know I'm not gonna be slowing my footage down. If I'm recording audio, whether it's into my camera or externally, I also shoot in 24 frames per second. The reason I do this is there's just an easier time syncing it up. Sometimes when you're shooting in 60 frames per second and you're matching it up with an audio recording from a separate device, you can run into some slight sync issues. So when I know that I'm recording audio and I know I don't wanna slow my footage down, I'm aiming for 24 frames per second. One other quick thing to note about shooting 24 frames per second versus 60 frames per second is your bit rate. If we're shooting at a consistent bit rate, let's say 100 megabits, at 24 frames per second, we're actually getting more bits per frame as opposed to 60 frames per second. So you're gonna have a slightly higher quality video if your bit rate is consistent across these frame rates. Let's move on to 60 frames per second. 60 frames for slow motion. The biggest benefit of shooting 60 frames per second is that you can slow your footage down if you're editing on a 24 frame per second timeline or even a 30 frame per second timeline. If you're editing on these timelines, you can slow that 60 frame per second footage down 40 to 50%. This is a really, really nice option. It can allow for some cinematic slow motion and it can allow for you to adjust your timing if you're trying to match up to a song for a music video or something like that. A lot of action movies or sports videographers will shoot in 60 frames per second to get crisper action. You're packing a lot more frames into each shot which is gonna give you a lot crisper motion. You're gonna have that higher shutter speed because of the shutter rule. So you're getting crisper action all around when you're shooting 60 frames per second. So again, movies that have action will sometimes shoot in 60 frames per second over 24 for these scenes. One other benefit of shooting 60 frames per second is if you decide to edit on a 60 frame per second timeline. When you play 60 back at that, it's gonna have a much more real look. It's gonna feel a little fresher, a little crisper. You'll see a lot of YouTubers doing this because YouTube has the ability to play back at 60 frames per second. You'll also see this on Twitch so that your camera can match the high frame rates of your gaming. So this is a really good option if you're a streamer or if you're making some content on YouTube and you wanna have that kind of richer feel that's not so Hollywood cinematic, but kind of feels a little bit more lifelike. Some of the cons of 60 frames per second are bigger file sizes. You're packing a lot more frames into each minute of footage, so the file sizes end up being a little bit bigger. You've also got your issue with slightly darker footage because if you wanna achieve that shutter rule, you need at least a one over 120 shutter speed. 
And finally, you also might run into issues when you're syncing your footage with your audio when you're shooting at 60 frames per second. So all things to think about. I would choose to shoot at 60 frames per second anytime that I know I'm gonna wanna slow down my footage. That is my number one thing. If I know that I think this is something I'm gonna wanna play back in slow motion, I'm picking 60 frames over 24 frames. So in the end, it comes down to your decision. Think about what you're shooting. When I'm out and I'm on a shoot, I'm constantly thinking about what frame rate I'm gonna need when I go back to edit. And I'm constantly changing too. One shot might be 24, one shot might be 60. I constantly have to make the adjustments depending on what it is I'm shooting and what it is I'll plan to do with that footage. If I wanna be able to slow it down, I'll shoot 60. If I'm not worried about slowing it down and I'm also capturing audio, I'm gonna go with 24 frames per second. So go ahead and think about what you might wanna use your footage for when you're making the decision between 24 and 60 frames per second. If you liked the video, go ahead and leave a like down below. It really means a lot and helps with the channel. Go ahead and subscribe and click the bell and we'll check you back in the next one.